Now, I got another story because John oh, yeah? Pollock, John Pollock uh, reported this today, and we can confirm it. Triple H showed up at NXT today, and he had a meeting with everybody there. And the two things that he said that were notable were that he is back, but he also said that uh, he was there for business reasons, and he couldn't say why yet. So, what does that mean? I don't know. But uh, what I do know is this. So, Hunter and NXT 1.0, before they decided to go uh, head-to-head with AEW and kind of everything changed, and then it was all downhill, and then he was removed. and And coincidentally, ironically... I like to use those words interchangeably. Ironically, they uh, put in a new crew because they were going to uh, show them how to do it. They were going to do it right. And uh, it's done much worse. So anyway, now he's back. Now, I know that initially when some people hear this, they're going to go, oh, man, NXT 1.0 is coming back. Hold on a minute. NXT 1.0 worked because they raided the indies of all of the best workers and they put him in there, and Triple H was open to using anybody that was great, and uh, and you know that's that's one of the reasons that it was so successful. That is not their current hiring practice. So if and I don't know if he's going to come back and be like you know in charge of creative or whatever again, but if that happened, they're not bringing in all of the best workers from the indies again, whichever ones are available. And going back to NXT 1.0, what's going to happen is he is going to book your Tony D'Angelo's and your daddy's girl and your Chase U, 18-year-old that just graduated high school. That's what he's going to be in charge of if he comes back. And uh, is it going to be, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the issue with NXT 2.0 to me is not the booking. It's the matches and the level of talent that they have right now. The booking is just whatever. It's simple, basic booking. So I'm not sure that if he came back in a, in a head of creative role, taken over for Shawn Michaels, who never wanted that job to begin with, I'm not sure it's going to be noticeably better than it is right now. Uh, but I guess we shall see. Well, let's just see what they actually mean when he says, I'm back. Like, does that walk in through the door? Some people go, oh, my, hey, Paul. And he goes, hey, I'm back. You know, what does I'm back actually mean? <laughs> you know, so. Well, it means he was gone, and now he's back. Why, thanks, Brian. <laughs> but I don't know and, what that and, means. And now that you fantasy what's his booked role? out, what, what's he going to be doing? You know, you don't know what he's going to be doing. You don't know why he's there. They've already announced why, well, he ain't gonna know, be they wrestling. why he's there. Tell you but that you don't much. know if he's going to have anything at all to do with NXT, if it's just a meeting down there for something else. You just, who knows? Okay, I'm well, he's going to do something with NXT. About Stephanie being buried 10 feet under the ground and I mean, how that actually, what that actually means. I can tell you, Mike, that he will do something with NXT because well, he had a meeting you, at NXT and said he yes. was back. But I don't know uh-huh. what it's going to be. But I'll bet, you know what? If he's back, I'll you bet he's back. Put your reporter back. hat on. Do you have a reporter no, hat? I'm gonna put, no, this is my speculation hat right now. I'll bet he's back to do creative. Right? I don't know. Maybe. What, I mean, what, is he going to run the conditioning I mean, program? Is he going to be in, to... in charge of paychecks? Or maybe to set up some other planning. He's meeting down there with Sean and some other people, and he's going to fly back to Connecticut, and we need to work on this and do this, and I'll get back up with you. Who knows? Because, again, Sean Michaels is down there. You talked about it yourself. You talked about the stress he could have by being a booker or by being day-to-day with anything. Obviously, with WWE, it's far worse, but is it that much better with NXT if you have, again, your father-in-law breathing over your shoulder? You're dealing with Kevin Dunn. You're dealing with all those things that you had before is that what you want to jump into i i, I don't oh, you know you want to talk about father-in-law's bleep breathing down your neck don't be surprised if you see jumpy mcgee old jumpy mcmahon don't be surprised if you see him make an nxt appearance of course it, of course, the only reason he hasn't made an NXT appearance yet is because those shows have been taped the gimmick of vince mcmahon appearing to be uh, bow to and to be honored by the crowd when he walks out there and he can come out and say something completely 
benign, you know, something completely some nonsense and just throw the mic and walk away. You know, that's it's going to happen on every show. He's done it on the other two. I don't think he'll do it anymore, but you got to make one appearance on every brand for sure. Old yeah. Excalibur. We've got heat with him. <laughs> I was clearly joking when I said they sped up his voice. I had nothing to do with this, Mr. Caliber. <laughs> oh, now you have to apologize. His name is not Excalibur. His first yeah. name isn't Xavier. I like Excalibur. He used to be <laughs> yeah. a Caliber. If anything ever happens like AW goes under or whatever, you know, they always have those those uh, those commercials about drugs, and they have that guy that reads the list of side effects. Yes. One out there, I, 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 it's potentially lethal taint fungus. <laughs> well, that would certainly be bad. And I am not exaggerating that at all. <laughs> My point is, is they... I they will re- never take this drug under any circumstances. <laughs> potentially lethal taint fungus, lol. <laughs> lol. I hate him. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.